Hello students, let's do idea of speed, distance and time exercise 12a. This is found on page number 136. Question 1. A train covers 51 kilometers. So whenever you have kilometers, we are talking about distance. In 3 hours, we are talking about time. So a train covers 51 kilometers in 3 hours. Calculate its speed. This is the first part. First, we need to find the speed of the train when it uh, covers a distance of 51 kilometers in 3 hours. And then the second part of the question, how far does the train go in 30 minutes? So let's start. Distance covered, as we know, is 51 kilometers. This is the distance covered. Second step, the time taken. The time taken is 3 hours. Now we need to calculate its speed and the formula to calculate speed is distance by time. So there are certain formulae that we must learn. So whenever you are asked to calculate speed, you have to use this formula distance by time. So here distance is 51 kilometers and the time is 3 hours. So we need to divide 51 by 3. So let's divide 51 by 3. 3 ones are 3 minus, then we have 2, we bring down 1, my number is 21, 3 sevens are 21 minus, so we've got 17. So the speed is 17 kilometers per hour. So this is how we write speed, 17 kilometers, the unit is kilometers per hour. Okay, now we have found the first part of the question. Now let's go on to the second part of the question. How far does the train go in 30 minutes? So the speed of the train we just found out is 17 kilometers per hour. We have found out the speed. Now the time now is 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Now we know one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, so here the speed of the train is 17 kilometers per hour. So 30 minutes is half an hour. Okay, half an hour or we can even write it as 0 0.5 hour. Okay, 0 0.5 hours is 30 minutes. Now we need to find this distance. Now the formula to find distance is speed into time. So what is the speed? It is 17 kilometers per hour. And what is the time? I can take it as half an hour or I can take it as 0 0.5 hours. Now, if we multiply these two, okay, now I can get, write 1 here to make it a fraction. Now, nothing can be cancelled, so I can multiply my numerators. 17 ones are 17 and my denominators, 1, 2s are 2. Now, I have 17 by 2, which I can convert. Let me try and convert it to a decimal number. So let's divide 17 by 2. This is 17, so 2 eighths are 16 minus 1. Now I can continue my division by putting a point and then adding zeros. Let me bring that zero down. Now my number is 10. 2 fives are 10. So I have found the distance covered in half an hour that is 8.5. Five kilometers. So what is very important here is the units. So if it is distance, if you're talking about distance, it should be either kilometers or meters. If you're talking about time, it's hours or minutes. And if it is speed, speed is kilometer per hour depending on the question. So here we have found the speed 17 kilometers per hour and we found the distance 8.5 kilometers. Let's go on to the next question. Question 2. A motorist travels the distance between two towns, which is 65 kilometers, in 2 hours and 10 minutes. Find the speed in meter per minute. So this time we are asked to find out the speed in a different unit. Usually it is kilometer per hour. Now it is meter per minute. So you need to read your question carefully. So let's start. The distance covered is 65 kilometers and the time is 2 hours and 10 minutes. 2 hours and 
10 minutes is the time. Now, speed is distance by time. So here, if we have to calculate the speed, we have to divide distance by time and distance is 65 kilometers and the time is 2 hours and 10 minutes. So this is the speed when it is kilometer per hour. Okay. Now we've been asked to convert it into meter per minute. So now we're going to convert 65 kilometers into meters and we're going to convert 2 hours and 10 minutes into minutes. So how do we do that? Now we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Therefore, 65 kilometers will be 65 into 1000. So that will be equal to, you write 65 and then put three zeros, 65,000 meters. So I have converted kilometers to meters. It's become 65,000 meters. Now I'm converting 2 hours 10 minutes into minutes. So 2 hours and 10 minutes. When I convert it to minutes, what do I get? I get 2 into, in 1 hour is 60 minutes, 2 into 60. So that will be 2 hours that I'm converting to minutes plus 10 because minutes here, it's 10 is already in minutes. Now 2 into 60, 2 sixes are 12 at the 0 plus 10. 120 plus 10 is 130. So I have converted this to 130 minutes. So now I have 65,000 meters and 130 minutes. Now I need to divide 65,000 by 130. Now before that, is there something I can do? I can cancel a zero at the end. So now my number will just be 6,500 divided by 13. So let's do that. Now my number is 65. So 13 fives are 65. And then, then I minus, I get zero. A zero which I can carry up and a zero, another zero that I can carry up. So my remainder here will be zero. So now I have got 500. So that is 500 meter per minute. So my final answer here is I have found the speed per in meter per minute. So speed will be equal to 500 meters per minute. So I have converted from kilometers per hour to meter per minute. So this is my final answer. Next question. Question 3. A train travels 700 meters in 35 seconds. So this is meters and seconds. We have been asked to find the speed in kilometers and hours. Kilometers per hour. So now let's write what's given to us. Distance given to us is 700 meters. The time given to us is 35 seconds. Now we have to find the sp speed. So speed is distance by time. This is a formula that you have to know. Speed is distance by time. And distance given to us is 700 meters. And the time is 35 seconds. Now our answer should be in kilometers per hour. Right now we have meter per second. We have to find it in kilometers per hour. So what we have to do here is convert the meters, that is 700 meters, into kilometers and seconds into hours. Now 700 meters, I must convert it into kilometers. Okay, so convert this into kilometers. So 1000 meters make 1 kilometer. So 700 meters will make 700 by 1000. Okay, so we know how to convert this. When you divide a number by 10 or higher power of 10, like 1000 that's given here, then our decimal place will move three places to the left. When you divide, the decimal places will move 
to the left and because we are dividing by 1000, three places to the left. So one, two, three and the point comes here. So what do I have there? 0 0.700 or simply 0 0.7. So we have converted 700 meters to kilometers, that is 0 0.7 kilometers. Now we're going to convert 35 seconds to hours. We're going to convert 35 seconds to hours. So let's see how to do that. Now, in one hour, we have 3,600 seconds in one hour. Okay, so these are basic things you children must know. So there are 3600 seconds in one hour. So 35 seconds will be how much of an hour? It will be 35 by 3600 hours. You have to divide 35 by 3600. So here we have found the distance in kilometers. Now we have converted. 35 seconds into hours and what is that? 35 by 3600 hours. Now we have to find the speed now. So as we know, speed, the formula is distance by time. We have the formula written above. So we need to remember that distance by time. That means distance divided by time. What is the distance now we found out? 0.7 kilometer divided by, I'll write division here because I already have a fraction there. So to make it easier, I'm putting it like this, divided by 35 by 3600 of an hour. Okay, now we will write this as a fraction. Now 0 0.7, now if I have to make it a whole number, I have to multiply it by 10. Now, when I multiply that by 10, I have to remember to multiply even down by 10. So, what do I get? 7 by 1 into 10 is 10. So, 0 0.7 kilometers is 7 by 10. It's the same thing that I've write, written as a fraction. Kilometer divided by 35 by 3600. Now, I'm going to take this as a division fraction sum okay so this is a division of fractions so that will be 7 by 10 my division will change to multiplication now i will write the reciprocal so 3600 on top and in, in the denominator i will have 35 now let me cancel what i can because now i have multiplication of fractions i can cancel one zero here and one zero there I can cancel 7 and 35. 7 fives are 35. Now I can divide 360 by 5 to get my answer. So let me divide 360 by 5. 5 sevens are 35 minus 1 and then I have 10. 5 twos are 10 minus. So I've got my answer as 72. So now this is 72 kilometers per hour. We have converted 700 meters in 35 seconds. We have converted that, the speed of that into 72 kilometers per hour. So this is our final answer, our speed in kilometers per hour. We'll go on to the next sum. Question 4. A racing car covered 600 meters, kilometers in 3 hours 20 minutes. Find its speed in meter per second. What is given to us is kilometers and we have hours. We have to find first the speed in meter per second and secondly, how much distance the car will cover in 50 seconds. So let's start our sum. The distance covered is 600 kilometers. Now, the time is 3 hours and 20 minutes. 3 hours, 20 minutes. Now, let's find the speed, which is speed is distance by time. The formula is distance by time. So, distance is 600 kilometers and the time is 3 hours and 20 minutes. 
Now we have found the speed in kilometers per hour, but we've been asked to find in meter per second. Okay, so once again, one meter has one kilometer, one kilometer has 1000 meters, therefore 600 kilometers, which is given to us, will be 600 into 1000. So we just have to multiply the now whole numbers 6 and 1. 6 ones are 6 and add all the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So that is 6 lakh there. So that is 6 lakh meters. So we have converted this to meters. Because we've been asked to convert it to meters per second. Now we need to convert 3 hours and 20 minutes into seconds because we've been asked in the question. So first we're going to convert 3 hours and 20 minutes into minutes. First we'll convert into minutes. In 1 hour there are 60 minutes. So in 3 hours it is 3 into 60 which is 6 threes are 18 plus 0 180 minutes plus 20 minutes so that is 180 plus 20 is 200 so here we have 200 minutes okay now we know that in one minute there are 60 seconds so therefore in 200 minutes remember we are converting it all to seconds in 200 minutes, we have 200 into 60 seconds. So let's multiply only 2 and 6. 2 6s are 12. Now we'll add the zeros. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 zeros. So that means there are 12,000 seconds. So let's write that down here. This is 12,000 seconds. Now let's simplify this by cancelling what we can. So 1, 0, okay, 1 more, 1 more. Okay, so I've cancelled 3 zeros. Now I can cancel 6 and 12, isn't it? 600. I have 600 on top and 12 down. Now I can cancel both by 12 itself. 12 ones are 12. Now 12 fives are 60 and I put the 0. That's 50. So now what do I have here? I have 50 meters per second. So I have found my speed in meter per second and my answer is 50 meters per second. So we have found the first part of the answer. Now what is the second part of the question? The second part of the question starts here. How much distance will the car cover in 50 seconds? So now we have to find the distance. In the first part, we found the speed. In the second part, we have to find the distance. Now remember, our speed is 50 meters per second. We are going to use that and find. So the time we have been asked to do in 50 seconds. We have been asked to find in 50 seconds. And the speed we found is 50 meter per second. To find the distance, this is the formula. Speed into time. So all the formulae, children, you must learn up so it will be easy for you to work out your answers. So once again, distance is speed into time. Speed is 50 meters per second and time is 50 seconds. So 50 into 50. So let's see the distance. This is simply 50 into 50. Now it's easy to multiply this. Let's multiply only 5 into 5. 5 fives are 25. Now we can add the two zeros. So 2500. So the distance covered is 2500 meters. Now how did we get meters? Look at the previous part. Meter per second. So we're using meters. Your unit has to be correct. So now it is 2500 meters. We are going to convert this to kilometers. So we'll have the distance in kilometers. So to convert, let's start this part. 1000 meters make 1 kilometer. Therefore, we have to find out for 2500, isn't it? So 2500 meters will be 
2500 divided by 1000. Okay, so we'll cancel. So it becomes 25 divided by 10. When you divide by 10, the point moves one place to the left. So the point comes from here to here. So what is my number now? 2.5. So I have found the distance in kilometers to be 2.5 kilometers. Moving on to the next question. Now Rohit goes 350 kilometers in 5 hours. So first we have to find his speed. So distance is 350 kilometers. Then time is 5 hours. So the speed will be distance by time. We use the formula distance is 350 kilometers and time is 5 hours. Let's just divide this. Divide 350 by 5. 5 sevens are 35 minus, I have 0 here, which goes up. So 5 zeros are 0. So I have got the speed to be 70 kilometers per hour. This is the speed. Now let's go to the second part of the question. Now we've been asked to find the distance covered by Rohit in 6.2 hours. So here what is given speed, which we already found out to be 70 kilometers per hour is what we found out. Now, what else is given to us? The time is given to us 6.2 hours. Now we need to find out the distance and the formula to find distance is speed into time. So speed is 70 kilometers per hour. The time is 6.2 hours. So let's multiply 70 into 6.2. You can ignore the point and multiply. So 70 into 62. Two zeros are zero. Two sevens are 14. Second step, you start with a zero. Then six zeros are zero. Six sevens are 42. Now add up these. Zero, four, three, Four. Now go back to the question. There is one decimal place. Your answer also should have one decimal place. So what is your answer here? 434.0 or simply 434. So here we have found the distance 434 kilometers. So this is the distance covered by Rohit in 6.2 hours, 432 kilometers. Now the next part, we have to find the time taken by him to cover 210 kilometers. If we have a distance of 210 kilometers, how much of time does he take to cover that? So once again, distance is 210 kilometers. Then the speed, we have already found out, it's also there in the previous part. It's 70 kilometers per hour. Now we have to find the time taken. So the time taken, the formula is distance by speed. So we have to divide the distance, which is 210 kilometers, by the speed, which is 70 kilometers. Let's cancel here itself. Now, if I cancel the zeros, I have 21 and 7 and 7 threes are 21. So now we have found the answer to be 3. Now, what is the unit? It's We are talking about time and time is in hours here. So the time taken to cover 210 kilometers is 3 hours. So this is our answer. So Rohit took 3 hours to cover 210 kilometers. So children, we'll stop with this for now. We'll continue the remaining questions in the next video.